Hi everyone, Simona here from Vector Twist. Now in today's tutorial, I would like to show you something that I've already made a tutorial on, how to create an isometric grid pattern. Now this tutorial is quite a few years old, so I had a look at it and I actually have an updated version for you. It's much faster, less complicated, and in no time will you be able to create your isometric grid pattern so you can create your isometric designs. Now in Adobe Illustrator, I'm working with Adobe Illustrator 2021. Just create any kind of document and then set the stroke to black and the fill to none. Now the first thing we need to create a hexagon. So simply press on the rectangle tool and from the drop down choose the polygon tool. Click once on the artboard and set the radius 60 pixels and the sides to 6. And then press OK. Now we have to rotate our hexagon. Now the easiest way to do this is working with the transform panel. So click on the transform tool and then choose from the rotate set it from 0 degrees to 90 degrees. Now we've turned it on the head. At the same time, we want to turn on the smart guides. So on the view, make sure you have smart guides on and also make sure that you don't have snap to pixels selected. Now let's choose the pen tool and then we're going to create lines. We're going to connect the top to the bottom. Then we're going to go over the anchor point on the right and then one more line on the other side and connect it. We're going to zoom in to make sure that we have it properly connected we don't want to have anything overlapping. So with the direct selection tool, just double check. Now the next thing we're going to select everything and we're going to group it. And then an important step, we need to actually remove our stroke. The reason why we do this is when we turn it into a pattern, I've tested it. If I leave the stroke on so we can see what's happening, I actually have a little mismatch and it doesn't align properly. So I want to have it aligned properly. So I'm going to turn of the stroke. Now, of course, if I let go, I can't see it anymore. Now, in order to still see what we're working with, we're going to be switching to the outline. Now we see everything again, so we can select it. And then here we can also see some discrepancies and we might have to select the end points again and align them properly. This is a really great way to see if everything is aligned where it needs supposed to be aligned. So turn off the stroke, Go switch to outline and then align your strokes properly with everything else. Even though we're working with the smart guides, sometimes it's still tricky to place it. Now we've fixed everything and then we can turn it into a pattern. Now select all of it, go to object and then choose pattern make. Now you get a new pop-up that your pattern has been placed in the swatches panel and then we can give it a name and then we want to switch the tile type from grid to brick by column. Now of course we don't see anything happening. Just select the shape that you've just added for a pattern and then turn the stroke back on. Also switch the view back to preview and now you can see that we have our pattern. Everything aligns properly and then we can turn off the stroke again. This is really important. I've tested it a few times. If I leave the stroke on, I'll just don't have the proper alignment. So let's turn off the stroke. Everything will disappear again. And then we can click done. Now back to GPU preview. Of course, we don't see anything. So I'm moving this out of the way. I'll give it a stroke so we'll see it. Now when we create a rectangle, I'm going to give it a fill. And then I'm opening my swatches panel. You'll see that we have a new pattern, our isometric grid pattern we've created. Now when we click it, we don't see anything because it doesn't have a stroke, nor does it have fill. Even if I was to switch to the outline, I still don't see anything. And this is really inconvenient because did I fill it? Did I not fill it? Is it there? Is it not there? Now the easiest way to actually make it visible is that we're going to be double clicking on our swatch pattern. This will open up our pattern options again and then we can select our lines and then give them a stroke. So I'm going to give them a black stroke and then I'm simply going to click done. This will automatically update your pattern and now we can see what we filled. Now let's zoom out a little bit. I'm going to be moving this out of the way and then I'm going to turn it into our isometric grid. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and then we need to expand the pattern. So the first thing, select the shape with the pattern fill, go to object and expand it. In a pop-up, select expand the fill and then click OK. Now the next important part, deselect everything on your artboard. Make sure nothing is selected. Then we're going to go to select object and there we're going to be choosing clipping mask. Now this will select all of the clipping masks we don't currently see but that they are there and have been expanded and then we can just delete them by hitting the delete button on the keyboard. Now when I zoom out I have my isometric grid and then turn it into a guide. So all we have to do is select it, go to view, all the way to guides and then say make guides. Now because I still have my smart guides on when I start drawing now it will actually snap to my guides and then I can easily create my isometric designs. And that's it. 